How to enter debit card transactions in QuickBooks Online. Hey everyone, this is Matt Hallquist with the QuickBooks University. So I wanted to show you today there is a really, really big difference between debit and credit card transactions. So a credit card transaction is when you charge something and then you owe that money to the credit card. They uh, advance that money on your behalf to whatever you whatever you store you buy something from and then you owe the credit card company a debit card transaction on the other hand is uh, money that comes directly out of your bank account so usually it's your checking account and so for business you will use your debit card you may use it pretty often going places and you do not want to enter that as a credit card charge so here is how you enter debit card transactions in QuickBooks Online. All right, so since this is coming directly out of the checking account, we have to record it as coming out. There's gonna be two ways you can do this, all right? Now, quick caveat here. If you're using bank feeds, you may just enter these directly from the bank feed, but some people will go in and record it and then when the bank feed comes in, they match it to what they recorded, all right? So again, if you don't record it in QuickBooks and you just use the bank feed, you can add it. But if you record it in QuickBooks and use the bank feed, you have to match it to what you entered. Okay, so here's how you're gonna enter a debit card transaction. First of all, the first way is to go to expense. All right, so as this comes up on the screen, uh, what you're gonna do is simply, let's say Bob's Burger Joint, and this is important. So if the debit card is linked to your checking account, uh, make sure it's to the checking account. You're gonna have the date. Uh, you can put in a um, payment method. So you can add one that says debit card if you'd like. You can just leave it blank. Not really gonna be a reference number for this. And then the category, which is your account, is going to be, let's say, meals and entertainment. All right. What did you pay for? You can write in a description. The amount will say that it's $51.26. And this is not billable to a customer, so we're going to leave this blank. All right. Now, for a reference number, you can put in EFT. You don't need to. Uh, you can put in debit, but you can also leave this blank. All right, so when you do this and you hit save and close, it's going to come directly out of your checking account. That is a debit card transaction. Now, an alternative way is to go up to new and then go to check. All right, well, you may say, I'm not writing a check, so why uh, would I put this in here? You can do it this way because it records it exactly the same way as putting in an expense. All right. So again, we can go to Bob's Burger Joint. We can say checking. Um, it's, it does have a mailing address on this one because, you know, it thinks you're doing a check. Payment date, 512. Now for the check number, you can just put in debit. You don't want to print later because you're not actually printing a check. A category. Again, we're going to say meals and entertainment, description, amount. We'll do 5126 again, and it's not billable to a customer. Now, this is going to get you to the exact same spot as entering an expense. It's just whatever you're used to, whatever's easier for you to do. All right, save and close. And again, it's going to come right out of your checking account. So again, very important to make the distinction between a debit and a credit card transaction. Uh, there are two different ways to record those. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I'll see you in another video.